we have a Akaya Orbit, and uh, this is really exciting for many folks because this is Akaya's first grinder, and it is a 64 millimeter flat burr grinder. Uh, we have one of them here that uh, basically the Bay Area community has graciously lent me. We'll, we'll open it and we'll take a look at what's in here. Uh, and then we have a, another Orbit uh, behind there, which we will go and use to, um, we're basically just gonna install Caspers in it. So it's gonna be a few different things. Uh, it is kind of late here, cause it's around like almost eight. So we're gonna be pulling some of this half calf here, but essentially we want to just like open it up and, and see what the experience is like. And we are going to open this. What do we have? We have Orbit has landed. It's the little top section. Then we have, this looks like a, Okay, this is this is a start guide, which is packaged nicely. Um, okay, so we have like some of the little magnetic feet and and all of that. Uh, and here we have some accessories. So this is the Eclipse edition, but the Eclipse accessories don't arrive until later because they are shipping from um, Portland. This one came from California. We're in California, so a lot of the guys in California are able to get the grinder really quickly. Looks like a spare shoe and some different parts here uh, and a little Allen wrench. Shoot oh, shoot extender, okay. Yeah. Catch up here. This is really nice. No, this is their regular dosing cup. This is like 40 bucks, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's also another little like magnetic thing on here. Dosing cup medium, thank you, Steve. Power cable. The grinder out. Wow, this is this is actually really light. Yeah, it's pretty good. This is pretty good. This is really light, wow. And it says, this unit is tested with coffee during quality control process. Some ground coffee may retain or remain in the grinder or in the packaging. That's good because that means they actually uh, test the grinder. So here we go. There we go. This is uh, the Orbit. It's actually surprisingly small um, when I'm looking at it. Like this is incredibly small. For, for size comparison, sake, we have another 64 millimeter grinder, which is this ode here. Uh, tomorrow there's another ode coming out, so that would be really exciting. Uh, but yeah, you know, two 64 millimeter grinders. Um, yeah, I mean, we're really pushing the, the smallness or, you know, the form factor here of how small these grinders uh, can get. Ever helped them d design everything here, uh, from my understanding. And um, we have a lot of similar design aesthetics to this. The part where you put beans in, can you knock this off with your hand? No, this is not removable. That's so, not removable. yeah, so, so on the EG1, this is removable, it's magnetic. This here isn't. Uh, but let's go ahead and plug this guy in. So, so far, just like t touching this, this really feels very similar to touching uh, one of these guys, the the Lunars. So really, really nice finish. I mean, it's like MacBook finish, basically. We also have the uh, Orbit app as well, which we will try to pair, basically, and, and see how, how it all works. No, no external power supply allowed here. <laughs> um, I like that cutout for this as well. It's very small. Turn it on, so. A light has appeared. That's really quiet, like by itself. Some coffee came out because of, of uh, just like adjusting things and whatnot, but I don't know. Can you guys even hear that? Yeah, of course. Or like, yeah, but on the mic. Oh. <laughs> like it's it's on right now. I will say when I first got it and I turned it on, some coffee came out of it. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they tested it. Yeah, they tested it. Yeah, it's it's good that they're that they're actually testing these. I like that there's this little LED here, like below the shoot. This is actually oh. a really nice touch. Like, look at that. But is it always on? If I put this here, oh that that feels really good. The mag the magnetic attachment here. So if we do this, stick it on here. It's pretty good. This grind. Oh, this feels good. Like this grind size adjustment. Feels and good. The detent ring above it. And then we have the detent ring as well. This is super slick, actually. Is it tell? There's a little sticker here that tells us the touch point. That's that's a, that's really good. Like the fact that they actually they actually marked it and t and are telling us the touch point. 
Oh yeah, calibrating this is gonna be really weird calibrate. because yeah, you can't calibrate this easily because right. of the detent ring, right? Or like you can't, or like, you can't put it to zero as touch. That's why they have a sticker. Oh. You have to remember the number, right? Yeah, I mean you have to remember the number. Right? Yeah, you have to remember the number. Okay. Oh yeah, we hit, we hit touch. The yeah, touch point sticker. Touch accurate, the right? touch point sticker is accurate. I was just curious. Also, really cool. It just shut off right there, uh, for for us. Oh, it shut off. Yeah, it auto shut. It auto shuts off. So we press and change. That ah. turned into a different color. Okay. Teal is fifteen hundred. So that's mad. That sounds faster than before. Teal. That's Young, like a white, white, white. white six hundred. That sounds really slow. And then uh, on blue is a thousand. Well, I'm gonna try to grind into the portafilter, right? Because I feel like I feel like the current usage most people are gonna do is they're gonna do something like this and they're gonna like stick it in here and grind. And I'm not I'm not RDTing. I'm scared it's gonna spray. I don't know if it's gonna spray. We're gonna find out. Okay. <laughs> I don't need to hot start this grinder. I'm. S All right, we've we've put the extender here. Clicks on. No RDT. That looks pretty good. Looks really? No RDT. Wait, it's gonna purge. Now it's gonna purge, so it should go. Oh, and reverse, right? It goes. It goes. Yeah, 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 so it goes yeah. forward and then backwards. That's right. That's pretty cool. I mean, honestly, for no RDT. Oh, oh yeah. I also forget that there's a knocker. It's it's really awkward to do it from this side. Oh, that was a lot. Came out. Yeah. I'm glad it has a knocker. This knocker feels really good. I've seen Lance do this. Ooh. Careful. Yeah. Well, we can, like, see how this tastes. Oh. One to three. Yep, so I'm just pulling one to three. That was a four, four bar turbo. Low pressure. Yeah, this coffee's really wild, so let's see. It's tasty. Soup for everybody, yes. It tastes like similar to a decent turbo. Yeah, well, we pulled a turbo style of shot. Yeah. I get like that yogurt in the finish yeah, with this coffee. <laughs> um, but there's definitely like a strawberry note in this coffee that is, is present here, but it's not like, it's not like super acidic. So this this to me is is like pretty telling that the 33Ms in here are just like pr pretty probably really good for for normal styles of coffee. Um, I mean we really pushed it there just to see what would happen, and we're getting a lot of rounding chocolateiness like very standard stuff. So I think these initially like just out of this very first shot uh, is probably going to be like. Pretty great for milk-based drinks, for more like darker roasted coffee. Um, this is actually a fairly light roasted coffee and it tastes pretty good. Super jammy, yeah. One thing I'm noticing with this is, is there is a lot of really, really great texture here. Um, this is like very, very enjoyable. I mean, even as the shot cools, the, the acidity is present. Like we get, we get really great information about the coffee, but like, Big texture, big chocolateiness. I think we push these burrs in a direction which they're definitely not designed for with a coffee that they're definitely not designed for, uh, but really tasty. We have the connect to orbit button. I, I hit connect to orbit. Oh, wow, that was fast. It connected. <laughs> I expected there to be like some amount of stuff that I needed to do here, but it connected. So we have it's good that there's an actual indicator on the grinder there that's telling us that it's connected. And then I'm going to see what happens. I can turn the grinder, <laughs> I turned the grinder on and some retention came out there. Uh, I can do, I think this is a purge. That's, you, that's a purge, right? yeah. Or is this the purge? That's the purge right okay. there. So it ramps up to 2,000 RPM. I think the left one is just like small. I think the left one, yeah, just like a small one. And it looks like we have different presets as well. So this is RPM. This right? is RPM. We're doing 1,000. 
basically, you, you, it's really, oh, this is cool. Here we go. Now we have some other settings, RPM profiling. So let's kind of mess around and set up an, an RPM profile. I don't know, let's set like an initial RPM 650 down here, and then, I don't know, set it, set it to stay there for like seven and a half seconds, maybe ramp up to a thousand. Well, there's only two stages. Okay, there's only two stages here. So it seems like it'll do this, this, and then I think it might go into like an auto thing. Oh, so down here, after adjusting that, we have that initial 650 RPM for the, I think I said it for like 13-ish seconds or something, or seven and a half seconds, and then it will run at this RPM for 10 seconds, basically 9.9. .9. So if I do that, let's hear and see what happens. So audibly, it's running at 650 so RPM, the and then it show, it's showing on the graph. Now it's ramping up. And then that's really cool too, where the blue LED is, is working. So our RPM uh, profile that we just set up there, only we only have two steps, but that's really, really cool. Yes, yeah, so you can use this without um, a phone. There are a lot of other settings too in the app that let us adjust, um, you know, what, what, what do the buttons do? Like very small things there that are great for uh, just adjusting the actual grinder. And then for those of you who are curious, in the manual stuff, you can ramp the RPM up. Oh, that's just like... Yeah, if you wanted to ramp the RPMs up manually but with the app. But this one can't set a profile, right? This one's like manual profiling okay, okay. at that point. But it's it's instant. It, it really is instant from when I when I touch the... do anything on the app. It's, it's, it's just straight up instant. All right, I wanted to throw this clip in here, which is uh, just telling you guys that I figured out how to uh, hook the grinder up to the scale. So I'm gonna demonstrate to you guys grind by weight with this um, grinder, which is, is actually really, really cool. So basically um, what was happening on the stream is uh, I forgot to have uh, the setting turn on, which is in the settings, there's this enable and disable uh, Akaya scale and I turned it on and then I was able to successfully pair everything We will see an orange light here that basically will let you use this as a display to tell you uh, about the scale uh, th that to, to connect to the grinder, so um, What's gonna happen is right when I put the scale this is incredibly fast right when I put the scale onto the grinder the scale turns into the orbit mode. So if I zoom in here, as you see there, it says orbit. And then uh, what happens is it will disconnect everything on the app. And if you started with there, then it would all show up there, but you just hit connect again. And we now see the grinder and the scale both showing up. And what we can do is we can control everything and we also see our dosage there as well. So everything works normally where I can control things. Of course, you don't need to use the app to use the grinder, uh, but and you can control your RPMs and your grind by weight value in the scale. And you do that by holding these different, uh, the buttons, the power button and the tear button. So if I hold, the tear button, it gets me into our grind, our, our dosage, and we can up the dose by just tapping or even holding in certain section, certain uh, the buttons for you know left and right for up and down. After you adjust the uh, weight, it also will let you adjust the RPM. So same thing, go up, go down, press and hold to go in either direction. And there we go. So I'll just set this to 1000 RPM. And then what you can do is you can actually cycle through all the presets by just holding uh, your different buttons here. So really the power button. Hold the power button and you can cycle through the, the um, different modes. So 600, 1000, 1500. Um, pretty straightforward. And then this mode here is just like the manual mode. So if you are um, running the grinder here, you know, as you see there, that's just the manual mode and pretty much uh, you can adjust the dose like pretty manually. You can like tear things too. Honestly, not entirely sure why you would use this mode over the other ones, uh, but it will basically just display a weight value there, depending on like how much you have ground. 
And uh, for reference, if you're in the grind by weight mode, it seems like you cannot do RPM profiling. So I'm going in here and I try to enable RPM profiling. It It's uh, only orbit mode, grind by weight with RPM profiling, that'd be interesting, but you can't do that uh, right now. It's just only letting you set uh, RPM values here uh, in our different presets and it will grind to the value that you have uh, set there. So uh, let me show you something really cool now, which is the grind by weight function actually working. So um, in here, you have two different options here. You can have an auto start grinding, which is basically really great for something like cupping. Whenever I put the, the a, a dosing device of choice, it will automatically start grinding to the uh, desired weight. So for example, like I'm just gonna pour in a lot of coffees. If I put it back on, see it's, it will automatically start grinding to my desired dose of 10-ish grams. So here, 10.1, I asked for 10 grams, uh, pretty close there. And then if I take it off and I put it back on, the grinder will start again. And we see our RPM values displayed there and uh, it will just you know, keep trying to target. I, I accidentally touched the scale there so, and triggered the 10 grams, but if I take it off and I put it back on, it will go to 10. So that's pretty good. I mean, obviously there's retention and everything. I've taken this off here, uh, but like from a just hopper perspective, this is very cool that you can do grind by weight functionality. And then you can even tear the scale and tear everything, zero everything out from uh, the app. So for example, you know, if I turn off the auto grinding, then I can kind of manually start everything. So um, say I'm just gonna pour, I'll just pour some beans in here. Uh, if I hit start, you know, I don't even know how, how much I poured there. If I hit start, it will go to my 10 grams. And then there we go. And then for reference here too, uh, if I take everything off, see this is the scale. I take it off, everything uh, disconnects, and then I can connect instantly back to the orbit and execute my R RPM profiling. And then when I stick the scale back on, it goes right into uh, orbit mode and then I can hook everything up and my phone is talking to both the uh, grinder and scale and we can basically do our grind by weight, which is uh, really cool. And it'll go to our 10 grams. So that's actually a really cool integration and uh, you may be wondering, you know, why would you do this um, with a, a, a single, quote unquote, single dosing grinder. A few different things that might be interesting to explore are, for example, cupping. You know, say I wanna like cup coffees, right? It's, it'd be pretty cool to just hit the con same consistent dose every single time. Or for example, say you're trying to dial in a specific coffee and maybe you want to mess around with RPMs, like lower versus higher RPMs, or even change the grind size uh, and keep your desired dose. If you had a hopper, it'd be pretty easy to just consistently hit uh, whatever value you wanted to hit. But so far, very impressive with the integration and very impressed with how fast actually the scale can switch between the app and the app can communicate with the grinder and how all of this is integrated. Uh, one other thing that I guess would be fun to add is uh, what you could do is you could just grind really small dosages at different RPMs. Like maybe uh, if you wanted to experiment across like a 10 to 20 gram brew, what happens if I grind like five grams at a low RPM, five grams at a high RPM, uh, all of that. Uh, if you wanted to do staccato stuff, this grinder would be very easy to use to do that. But um, yeah, very impressed with the app so far. <laughs> Uh, some other things to add to, which is uh, here, you can basically pause and start your um, grind in the middle. So if I hit connect and I start and then I pause, say I only ground like two grams in there, 
the scale will actually uh, pause for you there. As you see, it says pause. And then what I can do is I can either continue the dose for it to try to reach my desired weight of 10 grams, or I can just kind of reset everything and tear everything out, which is what this button is doing. Uh, and then obviously I can set this into a manual mode and then up the RPM there. And this is just giving me a readout of the RPM uh, of my weight. So you have a variety of options here, which is very, very cool. Uh, so you can do presets, manual, all that. Uh, oh, and since this is probably a point of concern for some folks, yes, you can start everything just using the button there. I'll pour some beans in here and it will uh, basically just tear everything out. So it tears the scale out when you press the button and then it will grind and everything is the same. So you can operate everything just using the scale. And then I can even pause my grind uh, midway and then I can continue and it will try to reach the desired uh, weight. And then we even see here, like what if it doesn't reach the, the desired weight, right? What you can do is you can just stop everything. Uh, you can clear it on the app. You can even like clear it on the scale. Uh, so, so you basically can do everything you can uh, do on the app, but uh, on the scale. So this, this is the accessory box that came with the Orbit. It came with the Allen key for the hex bolts. And then the shoe extender, this is mine. The lunar Mag magnetic strips. I don't have a lunar, so I just have them here. And they come, it's neat that they come with these spare bolts, including this like thumb screw right here. It's optional for you to, for, to use it. I don't, I forgot where you need it. And then you can see that there's like thread locker here on these, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to be putting these SSP casts that I got. These are the refurb V2s. So this this should be pretty easy here where you're, you're just pulling the front of the... Yeah. Yeah. And, and let me know if you need you more room. You just need to pull room. the front on both sides, right? Yeah. Like, yes. Um, and I'm... Don't you... I haven't... I didn't even watch Steve do this on stream before, because I, I know he did this. He did, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's, that's really useful. That, okay, yeah, can, hold on, hold on. I can keep my, on, can keep on, my yeah, screws yeah. here. Yeah, the, the screws, that's really useful. The screws just fell, this is magnetic. <laughs> <laughs> Got all four screws off now. Need to so just the bottom, right? yeah. slide it off. So you can see, this big ball bearing, that's pretty cool. So uh, I, I, mean, I pulled two shots. So I think Steve said like the retention in this, once it fills all the crack is about like half a gram or so. So this is like the stuff, I mean, this is just like natural, like the stuff that fills the gaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they got the little knocker here. You can see how the knocker is designed. A little shoe in the middle. Like what's nerdier than like one guy on camera changing his burrs while the coffee is being pulled in the background? I should have, I should have brought my, my genie Just take more melatonin. Damn it. <laughs> All right, so this popped off. So there's these two nice wipers. Um, so when I was removing it, I was removing these inner four screws with a Phillips one. They're actually pretty small. Look at these burrs. So Mazer 33M, pretty normal. <laughs> pretty, they're pretty, oh yeah, they're pretty normal. They're, they're I mean, tasty, they, it made really tasty coffee. Even uh, for a light roast, it was actually yeah. pretty good. Just to mention, you can pull the stationary burr straight out to make this easier. That's what Steve said. Uh, there we go. Oh, then it's easier. Whoever, whoever installed this last screw went way too hard on it. Oh, really? <laughs> Can you use a torque wrench? Put my Kenyan in, and I'm just gonna grind. Oh, oh, we gotta stall! We gotta stall! What's going on? <laughs> Oh, 
I, yeah, I'm, I'm using a low RPM. It, it's stalling. Oh no. Okay, don't run this that low. <laughs> I didn't have problems with it when I tried no, it. I put I you put candy in here. Yeah, I'm using I use candy tea. No, I'm grinding fine, but I'm grinding. You might floor. you might be a little finer than I am. Yeah, I'm grinding finer here. Uh, I did like a little. Was it's okay. Like Our RPM notches. was too low. I think right. This slide is what, six hundred. Six hundred. Okay, that's I was lowest. grinding six hundred. Yeah, that's the that's too low. Okay, my V. RPM was a little slow there, but I like that it actually. Um, you know, it stopped and then restarted. So that's actually really good. All right, Yeek. pull in that soup. It's a style of shot that'll upset people. <laughs> that's the carrier. Are they machined? This surface is machined. This looks cast though, unless I'm bad and can't tell. Like all the important surfaces, even this side is all finished. I mean, Steve can chime in, but. These Mazur Burrs are great. They actually are. I, I'm actually really liking this. this. They do well even on light rows. Yeah, I mean, this Kiani is definitely really, like this is a coffee type of coffee. It's, it's light, but. Oh, this finish is pretty good. Really enjoyable. Yeah, look at this piece. And I think we're getting the purple LEDs for the um, mm -hmm. manual control. So we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna go up, and then I'm gonna go down. Go up, and then we go down. I have successfully RPM profiled. And then it went into the automatic purge right there. And our actual RPM is, is displayed as well, where we can kind of see like our, I think there's might be a bug in here too, where it, it didn't actually register my target RPM value, like down here. Or maybe it's in here. Like we don't see a spike there, because I did it really fast, where I went up, our RPM did go up, and then I went down there, so but our graph is just kind of showing that our, our target value hasn't shifted at all. So, um, but, but if you were curious, you could share your RPM graph with your friends and it would, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, look, I could tell people what weight I was using. I could tell them my RPM graph, like you can, I can, Oh, I can change the background as well. I can take a photo. What? You can change the background? I'll, I'll put my photo of my face. Oh, God. oh, I can change it to a photo of my face instead of the default Akaya. It's <laughs> <laughs> letting me put the RPM profile. Oh, I see. But it's a picture of my face. Yeah. Oh, okay. so, What's sorry. the so power sorry. used for the last grind session? This is super cool. Is we, it, we used 51 watts for the last grind session. Uh oh. So it's tell, it, we're getting information on like total motor oh. runtime. Like, Okay, so if, if you guys are buying these grinders, you can make sure that you, you haven't been screwed by someone and you look at like total motor running time, it's like crazy, right? We got, we got an odometer on this grinder. Here is the grind details. No, but there is the grind. No, the graph, no, the graph has disappeared. Huh? Look, see, there's no graph. It was there earlier. Oh, it only sh it's, Yeah, it's not in the image. There's a bug. Oh, There's I a see, bug. I see, yeah. But, but the old version had yeah. like the, 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 in the app it had it. Yeah, in the app in the app there is, but instead I just have like my face here and there's no <laughs> there's no graph of my of my grind settings. Hey, look at this. See but if you can anyway. like see the alignment. Oh, it doesn't look too good. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's not good alignment. It's very much it could be my my error from uh torquing it earlier. I, I mean, if you need to, if you need to go, you can yeah. just pack yeah, this up. Yeah, you can pack this up. I can help you. I need to go too, so I'll go with it. It looks. Dude, horrible. people are dunking on you. Some guy's dunking on you. That's okay. I accept my fate. Wait, what's he saying? The burr replacement has been the scariest thing I've seen this Halloween. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't do this. No, that's this bad, right? No, we yeah. Wanted, we wanted to be. No yeah, this is this is my second time installing burrs. So. Hey, babe. Yeah, everyone has to go through their like. 
you know, opening up their grinder and having a terrible time experience. Like, it happens. If anything, all, it felt like everything was very tightly fitted, which is a good thing. Okay, someone wants us to elaborate on the filter brew. What do we like about this? Um, um, this pretty big body to it. Yes, but it doesn't have too much finish. Yeah, like the finish is like pretty smooth though, but like body. quick finish, but lots of body. It's pretty sweet too. Yeah. And, but the acidity is Sorry. like average. pretty average, right? Average clarity. Average clarity, but like rounded. Yeah. Kind of like cast, SSP cast. Sweetness for focus. something I was expecting to be more for traditional espresso, it did really, it like there was some, there was good acidity yeah. coming through. We'll do a quick sound slash retention test. Why not? I'm gonna start with just the very basic profile, which is uh, 600 RPM. I'll start it with my phone after we put the beans in, which is very helpful. So what's gonna happen is we probably should see some amount of exchange uh, in here. It's instant. So that took 14.3 seconds to grind um, 10 grams. We get 9.5 grams here, and then if we knocker it, we get 9.9 .9 grams. So I put 10 grams in there, 9.9 .9 out, um, and let's grind. Okay, so we went from 14.3 uh, seconds to 10.7 seconds. It was about 990-ish RPM here for the entire time, not bad. 9.1 here, or really our scale, maybe like 9.2 here. And then if we give this guy a little flack. 10 grams. So, so far, this is great. And then now let's run it at the highest RPM, which is uh, 1500 RPM here. Highest RPM, let's see what happens. Visually seeing a lot more fines here. 9.4 seconds. So probably past a thousand RPMs, we're seeing like pretty diminishing returns in terms of speed. 9.2 grams here. A fair bit does seem to get stuck uh, here in the chute. So the knocker actually does something. 10 grams exactly here. So uh, 9.8, 9.9, and then, which was like the first amount, and then 10, and then 10. So at pour of a grind size, not bad, and then we went from 14.2 seconds to like 10 point something seconds down to 9.4 seconds. Um, so that's, you know, makes sense. We're grinding faster. And now let's go ahead and put this into espresso. 600 RPM, lowest RPM, espresso grind. Let's kind of see what happens. So 24.3 seconds here for uh, espresso grind. So about 10 seconds more than our pour over size. 9.1 grams. <laughs> 10 grams exactly. Again.
Very EG1-like with the wipers. Whoop. Auto purge happened. Nine grams. Ten grams. Like, this is hilariously consistent now at this point. Ten grams again at our highest RPM. And this has finished in 13, 13.1 13 seconds. 9.2 grams. Ten grams. Okay, so our retention on this grinder is really, really good. Our espresso grind is is about ten-ish, ten, eight to ten seconds longer uh, than pour. So if you're grinding at the very lowest RPM, it's like twenty seconds for ten grams. So if you're doing eighteen gram doses, like 35, 40 seconds most likely, um, and then you know, pretty. So probably like. 20, 30-ish seconds uh, if you're grinding at a higher RPM for an 18, 18, 20 gram dose. Um, that's not that bad. Also, considering the fact of the matter is you can just walk away. Like, I could be in another room and start the grinder. If it's your first foray into 64 millimeter, like, more premium grinders, this is a really safe buy. Um, considering that everything is in such a great state, I mean, we found like one little bug in the app. Uh, this is really great to, to see uh, be like this high quality. And it's also, you know, made by Akaya. So you can feel very confident in purchasing, purchasing this grinder. I'm very curious what's going to happen to the P64. As we see, we have new burrs that came from the P64. And I'm really curious about what's gonna happen with some of these other 64 millimeter flats that are coming. It's, it's gonna be interesting to see what this does to the grinder market in the coming uh, months. But yeah, all right, uh, I'll see you guys around. Thank you so much for spending the time to uh, hang out. Good night.